So this is somewhat of a typical battle at every dealership, finding the keys. I know this is not sold, but this is a beautiful GLC that just came in. It's gray. We're in the shadows, so you can't really see the color that well. It's a 2023 GLC Formatic Coupe, 255 horsepower, 295 pound foot of torque. I absolutely love the the packages they have is the driver's assistant package, the night package, the AMG line, the pinnacle trim. It says 30 on the highway, who knows? But right under 70. And we have the running boards, which I love. Thank goodness, because I really like the plastic kind of the brother typically. You have the color match fender flares. The night package comes with the black trim. You have You can, like when I hit this button right here, put this down, it automatically makes the front seat go forward, so I don't have to have to worry about that being in the way. Isn't that cool? Talk about engineering, look at and it goes automatically back. How cool is that? This has all of the mats. You have a neck adjustment for the headrest up here. I'm gonna go put the second row seat back up. Formatic, meaning it all will drive. Gas, always put premium. Don't settle for anything less. I use Costco's premium gas all the time. I love Costco's. Everybody just is, everybody's in a good mood there. Everybody's happy there. Yeah, look at, see, the front seat just automatically sit, scoots forward or backwards according to what you move in the car. Got the blind spot monitors as well. Leather trim, ambient lighting on the trim, heated seats, Burnmaster sound system upgrade, wood trim. I don't know if you see the ambient lighting in the back. Wood trim right here, see? Huge touch screen. This is the 17 inch black lacquer trim. Little storage unit right here with USB plugins, media plugin. I'm gonna go close the other door. But I like the gray black trim throughout. That's a night package. The exterior is graphite gray metallic wood walnut trim. The night package has a high gloss black elements, AMG line, and also. So if I had the keys, I'd show you the heads-up display. I started up, but I don't have the keys. We're trying to find them. It's a beautiful sunny day at Mercedes-Benz and Rock. Out of all the vehicles that I would buy, this would be the one. I would change out the wheels. I will say that. I mean, don't get me wrong. The AMG wheels are okay. I know a lot of people love these wheels, but I honestly would change these wheels out just because it's a personal preference for me. I love the black leather right here, this trim. MBU Tex, MBUX, MB Tex, MBUX is our operating system. I'm trying to get my tongue to work with my brain today. But yeah, I don't have the key, so apparently I cannot start it. But we will find it. It's got 11 miles on it. Hopefully, the security system will not go off. Like I said, this is a 2024. We have the Mercedes Me. 68 degrees outside, it's a beautiful day. Little Rock, Arkansas. Mercedes Benz, this is Desiree Lovell. 
and it's only got 11 miles on it so it's got the heptic feedback and the two lane instrument panel operating controls right here i love how you can't really tell but it's not silver it's got a little kind of like black kind of not chrome finish but it's like a black understated trim on it and i absolutely love that in here all of our air units are operating like in an airplane the circular you'll have ambient lighting throughout but i love this wood trim now look at they did really nice with actual wood trim here we can look at the screen and see we're going to turn the volume off the Mercedes Benz is located right there. You could say, hey, Mercedes. Can you find the keys? Can you find the keys? So here's the touch screen. You have Apple CarPlay, of course, 4G. And then on what options you pick, you can have Mercedes Me Connect. But let's just see what's on the car. Okay, so far as collision now you do have the heads-up display this is the heads-up display unit but I don't have the keys right now so I can't show you that I would love to maybe we can do that at a later date this is the auto stop and start I'm gonna turn that off immediately when I get into the vehicle as soon as I start the vehicle I'm gonna turn that off I just don't really care for it um, driving you're gonna have active distronic distance distronic collision avoidance um, active brain is Active brake assist, active lane keeping assist, meaning it's going to apply your brakes when needed. And it's not going to prevent any damage, but it's going to lessen the damage. So active lane keep assist, keeping your vehicle inside the lane. Active blind spot assist, which is going to have your indicators in your mirrors. Your little triangle is going to come on, especially if you're trying to turn into a lane where someone's already in it. Okay. Have, uh, traffic sign assist which is going to show you on your instrumentation panel over here how fast you're supposed to be going uh, cameras we're going to have tons of cameras so and parking of course you have you're going to have the parking assist where it parks itself it's just not on right now you have to turn the vehicle on okay so we can go over here to our vehicles our vehicle setting and under in driving under driving, you have, let's go back. I'm gonna go settings, vehicle, driving, and then car wash mode. So I use this quite a bit. Once I go through car wash, I, before I go, go through the car wash, I go to vehicle driving and hit car wash mode. And then it folds in the mirrors, turns off the wipers so they don't come on. Anyways, our dealership does a really cool thing. If you ever do uh, need new wipers or battery, we replace that for a package when you buy the vehicle. Open and close, you can lock and tell the vehicle how you want it to lock and unlock. Okay, dynamic select is going to tell you how you want to drive. Now, are you going to want it in what mode? You want it in dynamic mode? Um, I'll show you that later. I've, I'm sure if you watched any of my videos, you've seen you have the sports mode, the eco mode, the comfort mode, the sports mode, the sports plus mode, depending on which model variant you get, and then the individual mode. You have radio, XM, media, off-road. Obviously, with the vehicles on, we would hit this, and you could turn your steering wheel, and you could see through the bonnet. It's called the hidden bonnet, and you can see that. We're not going to show you that because I can't get the keys. We'll figure that out later, y'all. Um, you have info information here, so we need to have it on. Climate control. And then your parking assist. If the vehicle was on, I would hit this button right here. It would show me the screen. It would find a parking place for me. I would hit yes and let it park itself. Okay. The heads up display, like I said, is really cool. I had that on my BMW. It's really cool. This right here is another security measure you can do just so that you can scan your finger. Instead of having to enter in a code, you can scan your finger and it will open up your profile and everything like that. So I hope this helps everybody. Um, this is the 2024 beautiful GLC Coupe. I, it'd be the one vehicle I would definitely consider trading my vehicle in right now for. Absolutely love this. Love the steering wheel. You gotta come out and test drive them for yourself though. I can talk about them all day long. It's really not gonna help. Depending on where you are in life and what you want and need, this might fit. Who knows? Come and see us.
Mercedes Benz of Little Rock. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Mercedes Benz of Little Rock. And yes, I love this thing. Isn't it pretty? I, I, do, I would change out the wheels, 100%. I would change the wheels out. But everything else, I'd keep the same.